Hello. I'd like to clear up a little point here on an old program that I made. Um, it's called clearing off the screen. If you're an idol and you want to clear off your screen, you can create a function to do so. Watch. Well, it's not clearing off the screen like in the DOS environment. It just hits the enter key about 50 times and clears the clutter off of your screen. And that's useful. In the idle. Alright, well, let's see how this works. I can define a function called CLS, open, close parens, and a colon. And now I'm going to print backslash n times 50. And that'll hit the enter key 50 times and effectively clear off your screen. I'll call the function now. CLS, open, close parens, hit enter, and it's gone. Well, if you scroll up, you can still see it, but you've effectively cleared off your screen. Can you do this within the DOS environment? Yes, you can. There are two ways, of course, to do it here. You can do it the, uh, you can do it the way that I just did it, which is can key in Python. And then you can define a function called CLS, open, close parens, and a colon. One, two, three, four. And then you can, whoops, you can print out, same thing again, backslash n, that's the carriage return line feed, times 50. And this works. If I now key in CLS, open, close parens, and hit enter, it does the same thing. It has effectively cleared off my screen. If you scroll up, you'll see this stuff, though. Now, if you want to use to do an actual clear screen, and not the uh, hitting the enter key 50, 50, 50 times, this is how you would do it. You would import the OS module, and then you would say OS, yes, uh, tell the system to call the CLS function. I'd appreciate that. And it does it. You can actually put that into a function. All right, let's do that. Let's define a function called CLS, open, close parens, and a column. Uh, OS, could you call the system and tell it? to execute CLS. And that's it. Now if I can CLS, open close parens, watch what happens. Clears off the screen perfectly. So you have a multitude of different ways to solve problems in Python. And that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Thanks so much for listening. This is George Bull. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye now.